Cosmic Nord on Twitch. Do you think Iran and its affiliates have pure intentions in their fight, or do you think they want to take control of Middle East for the gains? Uh, I think there are, there are always people that want to take control of something for their own gains, but the way Iran, Syria, Hezbollah, Hamas, Yemen have been waging war, they are 100% on the on the right. They are 100% on the pure side. They are honorable warriors. The way United States, Israel, the Western world has been waging war, they are 100% evil. They are 100% on the wrong, right? Just, just, just statistically, the mathematics of it reveals you that. Look at how many how many civilians Iran killed in their attack on Israel with 200 missiles, some of them hypersonic or ballistic missiles, where they hit all military targets. And look at how many people Israel has killed in their military strike. Just take one military strike, okay? The only person that died in Iran's attack was a Palestinian. And from what I understand, that Palestinian died because Jordan shot down one of Iran's missiles to protect Israel and the debris fell on the Palestinian. There's a video of it, right? Brett Slinger, thank you very much for the sub. Cheers. Salute, salute. Tier one sub subscribe for 37 months. Salute, brother. Thank you. Keep up the good work, friend. Will do. Try my best. So mathematically, statistically, just the numbers alone tells you who's on the right side and who's on the wrong side. The ones that massacre, annihilate civilians are the bad guys. And the ones who do everything possible to avoid civilian casualties are the good guys. I don't care what side of the fence you lie on or stand on. That's an absolute. You have to agree with that. The ones doing their best to not kill civilians are the good guys. The ones that don't give a rat's ass about killing civilians are the bad guys. We are the bad guys. Okay. Yemen, Hezbollah, Libya, Syria, Iran, Hamas, Gaza, Palestinians, West Bank. They're the good guys. Okay. Mathematics tells us that. Anybody that's going to have a hissy fit regarding this can kiss my ass because they're 100% illiterate in the language of mathematics because they just don't understand numbers. Right? They don't understand that five is bigger than one. Or in this case, the number of people Israel has killed in Gaza, 200,000 is bigger than the 1,000 that you might think that happened on October 7th most of those killed by the IDF the civilians right or the three four thousand that Israel has killed in the last couple of weeks versus nobody that Iran killed except the one person that died Palestinian was killed because Jordan prevented one of the missiles from reaching its location because they shot it down right end of story there is no debate on who is right and who is wrong anymore in what's happening in the Middle East. The people committing genocide are always wrong. The people censoring speech are always wrong. 